All right, guys, so I'm down in the Amped Workshop today. I'm gonna to run you through some tips on di diagnosing motor power loss, uh, loss of drive on your electric bike. These are probably some of the most common things we see and they are super simple to fix. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to fix your bike after watching this video. guys so we have our riptide here today um, and we have no motor drive um, or we have the motor cutting in and out now this is a common one and it's a very simple fix um, there's a couple of things you can do the first thing you can do is you want to check and make sure um, that you definitely do not have and I'll just turn the light on here um, whoops, wrong button. Um, we want to make sure you do not have one of these exclamation marks on the dash, uh, like you can see flashing here. Um, that means that your brake sensor cutouts are active, which would then be related to your brake lever sensor sticking. Um, we'll do a separate video on that later, um, but you can narrow that down by flicking your lever to see which lever is sticking on. Um, you can also unplug the brake lever sensor too um, to see if that goes away and your motor then fires back up. Uh, another test we can do is to hold the minus button. That's gonna activate um, essentially a warp mode throttle. And we can see straight away that our motor fires up fine. So we know that it's not a motor issue. Um, but our pedals on the other hand still aren't quite right and the motor's not not working from the pedal assist drive. Now that would be because it is more than likely um, your cadence sensor is not close enough to the magnet. Um, okay, I'll just get under the bike here so we can see. Okay, so on every bike we have this uh, magnet plate here, right? Um, and we have a sensor. So as each little circular magnet passes this sensor, it tells the bike to um, essentially to, to drive. Um, if this disc is too far this way, away from this sensor, the bike's not gonna know what's going on. So the simplest thing to do is literally just to grab this disc and we're gonna pull it close to the sensor um, to a point where it's virtually almost touching. Um, you probably can have a slight mill um, in between there, it's fine. And now when we pedal, we should have drive again. And away we go. So that's as simple as that. Uh, you can also see uh, when the crank is turned, that little red light um, on the sensor will flash. If that's not flashing, that's also an indicator that uh, the sensor is too far away. So that, my friends, is how we fix the motor drive issue. Another thing, um, if you're holding minus and your pedal assist, neither of those are working, then I would come along to this plug here on the bottom of your frame. And this is the same on all of our bikes. Um, we can see here uh, we've got two arrows. Now there should be a line here um, on where how far that goes in. You can check by pushing that in further all the way to make sure that a full um, full contact is made on that plug. That is also another thing you can check. Uh, otherwise, hopefully that solves your issue.